My job is to oversee the development of the analysis products at uh, CADWORKS and Analysis Solutions. I do spend most of my time um, furthering the development of the CSER program for pipe stress analysis. CSER II permits engineers to evaluate the safety of piping systems from a stress and load point of view. So the models are, are constructed in the software, they're analyzed according to various codes and standards, and then the results are reviewed by the engineer and a decision is made as to the acceptability of the system. If it is not acceptable according to the criteria of the project, then modifications are made. CSER II permits engineers to evaluate piping systems in a timely manner. Um, and the analysis is more sophisticated than it could be uh, without software. Uh, some of the evaluations are impossible without software, uh, and it, it just improves the safety of the overall system um, to, to a degree where it, it's more reliable, it's more cost effective, and the, the overall result is a better performing system. Well, the challenges vary by industry, uh, geographic location, uh, project requirements. Uh, typically, the, the, the biggest challenge is performing the analysis correctly according to the codes and standards. And we have tried to implement enough checks and balances in the software, uh, as well as enough guidance in the documentation so that the analyst can get to the end of the road and, and meet the required criteria of the, the various standards. Codes level the playing field from a safety point of view. Uh, before there were codes and standards, uh, you had construction and design that wasn't safe, uh, perhaps performed by uh, people not qualified to uh, uh, perform those designs, or uh, other people trying to um, uh, skimp on things to increase profits and didn't really care about safety or reliability. And so the, the codes and standards are, uh, in, in most instances, uh, enforced by government standards uh, with, with penalties if, if a, d a design doesn't meet the code. And that's why a lot of the work is inspected after the fact or during construction, uh, the design is reviewed and so forth. And, and again, it, it's strictly a, 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 from the point of view of safety and reliability. If, if a system goes offline, even if it wasn't a safety issue, someone's losing money. And, and so the, the codes and standards were developed uh, for both of those reasons. Revisions are made to the codes as uh, new technologies are developed, uh, additional studies are performed, uh, or uh, the hardware advances to a state that additional computations or analysis techniques uh, can be introduced. Um, you know, such as, you know, 20 years ago you couldn't do the analysis that you could do today because, you know, the hardware just wasn't fast enough. And so, you know, people are always Im improving uh, workflows, uh, software methods, and so forth, and, and the codes are there and revised to see that uh, when new techniques are introduced, uh, again, you're not stepping on the, the safety factors, and e the ultimate goal is, is the reliability of the system. I find the most exciting part when development succeeds in introducing something new into the software. The software is actually performing uh, as, as we intended and we can introduce that to the user base and you see the excitement uh, um, among the users that now they have something additional that they can employ to make their life easier. I find that the biggest challenge is understanding the codes and standards and understanding the capability of the software and be able to put both of them together to you know, achieve the final design. And, and that, was, that was the goal that we set when we decided to travel around the world and, and have the sessions where we introduced uh, different uh, techniques and, uh, of solving particular problems that users face. We have to understand customer needs such that we ensure that the software is, is satisfying their requirements as, as to uh, the project, um, otherwise they just wouldn't use the software. Um, and so you know, we're, we're always talking to users, we want to know what their workflow is, what are their pain points, um, where are they spending their time, uh, where are they finding difficulties, and um, you know, what, what can we do to make their life um, uh, easier from a uh, 
a, a production point of view. Everybody works together really well. Uh, I think everybody um, has the same sense of, of accomplishment and satisfaction um, when, when something gets put together and, and, and it works. Uh, and they can actually see um, the reaction from the user base. Uh, you know, we get emails or, or quotes come back from uh, various trips and so forth. And, and it, it's, it's very satisfying when you know that, that your work has, has been accepted uh, by the user base and they actually look forward to utilizing your product. Thank you.